Good morning. It is Vacation Bible School week. Hi, how are you doing? If you're new here, my name is Sharday. I'm a homeschool mom to five children. Their names are, well, not their names. What am I talking about? Their ages are nine, six, four, and then the twins are officially 16 months old. So this is going to be a week in my life, but only like a two hour span each day of a week in my life. I have some things that I would like to accomplish while my children are at vacation, Bible, vacation Bible school. And so today's first goal is to mop and clean off my bar area. And then some other things I'd like to get done this week is to clean out the coat closet, organize the kids clothes and plan for our last semester of, not our last semester, our last term of school this year. So after vacation Bible school, we only have six weeks, six weeks of school left. I'm excited. And <clears throat> yeah, that's it. And then um, I do have a paper that's due on Thursday and I'll be working that on that at night. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna do things that are going to help me next term. And so the first thing we'll do today is I'm gonna mop. Rewind. <clears throat> I actually have a um, Amazon, well, some Amazon packages that I need to unpack. And I thought I'd share what I recently got with, with you guys. So the first thing is, I don't know why I purchased the um, the two pound container, because if this doesn't work, I'm gonna be highly upset. But I got a clay mask for my daughter's hair and my daughter hair, and my hair. And then we're gonna try it on our faces, but I mainly got this for our hair. Um, I've been looking up stuff about our hair and there's a difference between hydration versus moisturizing so i think my daughter i think i do a good job of moisturizing my daughter's hair but i don't think it's hydrated because it's still brittle and so i'm gonna try to do some things to alter the ph so that we can get some hydration into her inner strand I'm not an expert, but <laughs> the P, changing the pH, um, and I'm, I'm gonna use this with apple cider vinegar, so that's gonna help with hydrating her hair. And then I got some banana grams. Have you guys ever heard of these before? I thought these were so cute. I saw, hmm, this was an old video from Sabrina. On, from the Falco family and basically it's a game that you use it's kind of like Scrabble but you do it on your own do it on your own but so they're just letters and I'm gonna have the kids use these to spell and what's so cool about it is they not only have it's not just individual letters it's the blends as well so I thought that these would be good to have when um, especially with Donovan and having him create words with dictation also Benjamin and, and Jesse so instead of them writing or their curriculum already comes with cards but um, I thought that these would be good so I bought these and so this is where, if you want to know what my struggles are, it's definitely when I see something, I want to get everything in it because I also got apple letters. And so it's the same concept. It's just a different game that they can play. And these are all... Capital letters. So apple grams, apple letters. And then I also.
also got the original banana grams. And so I figured these would be more geared towards Jesse, but she might like the more colorful ones. The my first banana grams are bigger. And so the regular banana grams, I'll show you the size of the cubes. But that's it. It looks like they're all capital letters. Yeah, these are all capital letters. And my first are lowercase letters. Okay, so that's good to know. So, got Bananagrams, regular. And then, um, all the kids are doing baseball, t-ball, softball on, at some capacity. So, one of the ways that we can practice with um, catching and just to get them used to the ball is having them practice with a lighter ball and also using this to throw it against a, a building. Um, so where they practice, there is like a, a brick building or can't do it here, but at the park, and they can use this to catch on their own. So this is just a coaching mechanism that I'm going to be using. And then I got a book for seminary and it is the lexicon of the New Testament translation. The Conscious Greek English Lexicon of the New Testament. And so I have one more book coming. It's like Greek. It's not Greek for dummies, but it's kind of that. <laughs> that is on its way. And so, yeah, that is my Amazon order. I'll show you. There we go. A primer for biblical Greek. Let me see. That might be. Okay, there we go. A primer for biblical Greek. And that is on its way. So, now time to get some cleaning done. I have an hour before I have to go get the kids. The twins are asleep, and so I'm definitely going to maximize on this time. I'm going to listen to. The po a podcast. Have y'all heard of this? Um, Harley Initiated. I like it. I send some of them to my husband, not all of them, because he thinks some of them are annoying, but he can't listen to, he won't listen to it all in one day, but I can listen to a little bit of it and see if it's good and send it to him. It's a Christian perspective. It's two men who are dating one is seriously dating for marriage and the other is single but they're just trying to stay abstinent or <laughs> i don't know if they're trying to stay abstinent but they are trying their best to live a life that is faithful to god and honors their body and i just think it's great when men can talk about their struggles and have accountability partners and so today they have willie moore jr and la Terrace from Dear Future Wifey. I think it's about to be um, Dear Future Megan. <laughs> Dear Megan. Dear Megan Ashley in a bit, but we'll see. <laughs> Let me clean up. did not get to cleaning off my bar area so I may do this when I get back home but I am going to go to the car wash um, and pick up after I pick up the kids so it's 12.02 I need to get them at 12.30 so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a snack for the twins put them in the car and Go get my babies. All right, y'all. <laughs> so I did not film anything yesterday because my eye got scratched 
and I couldn't see out of my left eye, like the cornea part, and it was very sensitive to light. I drove the kids to VBS, and when I got on the highway, I, and the sun sh shined, like I knew I couldn't really see that well, but I could see. And then when the sun was shining, I was like, oh my gosh. And so it was, it was so sensitive to light. I put on my shades and it was a little better. But when I got home, by the time I got back home, it was just hurting so bad that I, I just had to keep my eyes closed. And <laughs> what happens when a busy mom who never really sits down closes her eyes for a long period of time? You fall asleep so it wasn't that bad i actually fell asleep with the twins and we woke up at 12 and went to go get the kids so that was my vbs experience for wednesday and now today is thursday it's 11 o'clock it's 10 59 i just got the twins down for a nap and i was just in the room looking at some bible curriculum if you hadn't seen my homeschool update for the fifth term, I did address some things that, um, some of me, you know, feeling overwhelmed about looking at Bible curriculum. But I did see, um, like God has just been speaking to me about that. And cause ultimately, hold on, I'll show you guys something. Ultimately, what happened was I was watching too much curriculum. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. And I started feeling like I needed a Bible curriculum, which if you looked at my, if you see my video from last year, I said that we don't use one and we probably won't. And guess what? <laughs> that overwhelmness, it says something, okay? To me, right? And that I just need to chill. So we're, we are reading this and... Uh, let's see. We got about this much left. And so I just kept feeling like, oh, I gotta get something, I gotta get something, I gotta get something. When, do I? Do I? I have things that I, that we can use. And so I bought this, because I am the children's ministry coordinator at my church, but I also, I'm kind of, kind of, leaving that position and just going to I just want to teach the kids I don't want to deal with the administrative stuff about it so I'll be teaching the K through fifth grade children three days three Sundays out of the month and but I got this like I think Jesse was like young she was young so I got this years ago and I found this I had to dig it dig through it and yeah, so I think I'm going to read this to the kids, but also I'm going to keep with, so I got this, and I don't even know how many there are, but let's show you guys the table of contents. There's stuff about God, stuff about Jesus, stuff about the Holy Spirit, questions about the Bible, Christianity, prayer, the church, Christian seasons and holidays, being a Christian here and now, being a Christian forever and ever, and big questions. And so I don't know how many this is, but I'm pretty sure yeah, and one of them is a page. So I can do that. That's not what wrong. And then we'll just start back over with this. And then I also found this hands-on Bible. And I've used it maybe two times for church. Which tells me I probably could use this one for my home. Or two, pick it back up for church. <laughs> but with each, I'll show you guys. When you open it up, there's context about Genesis. Listen, I don't mind taking it page by page, day by day. And then I 
there's some of those hands-on things. So again, I will take this. There is nothing wrong with reading the Bible one page at a time. And it looks like there's, see, I love this, the thumbprint. So that they can see. That God sees everything. That God doesn't need thumbprints. So maybe I'll just take it a chapter a day. Look at this. So look. I don't need no curriculum because I have it. I have everything that I need. So yeah. And then, so I might go with this because this does have pictures, but still have this out so that they can see like things more in color. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to do if I could ask God anything. And so let's see how many pages there are because that tells me about how many questions. There's 207. So answered prayer. Okay, now what I need to do right now, I need to clean up the kitchen. It's 11.06. Been talking to y'all. It's 11.06. I need to clean the kitchen. And then, y'all, I'm probably going to mop again. My beautiful children don't understand that you should take your cleats off before coming into the house. And they do have a change of shoes. They go to practice with sneakers on and change into their cleats. So I don't know why they're not changing. Well were not reminding them either to take their cleats off when they get in the car but and so now there's mud at the front of the door and then you never could go wrong with mopping but I, I could do that at another time I really want to achieve one of the goals that I said that I would do on Tuesday which is get the bar area cleaned off so um, that's all I'm gonna like be able to do is to just spruce up the kitchen and get the bar and clean off and then it'll be time to go get my babies. <laughs> Good morning. It is 11.08. I just got the twins down. And so I have a good 52 minutes <laughs> to get some work done and so today I decided to focus on our coat closet I've been thinking um, so when we started our school year we started off in our spare bedroom because the kids were the three older kids were sharing a room because I couldn't keep up with cleaning the room well then my daughter turned nine and she just she wanted her own space and she had to have it now so we like in one day switched everything around Put my daughter in the schoolroom, brought everything down here, and now we're homeschooling back at the kitchen table, which is fine. But I have a lot of stuff. So I've been thinking either we're going to go back to my daughter's room for, for homeschooling because she does have the desk and, I mean, I'm sorry, a table in there. So, or I got to figure out a storage situation. So I'm going to clean out the coat closet, see what we have, and I think we're going to try to add a shelf in there so let me show you guys what we're working with so don't mind my dirty mirror kids live here <laughs> so this is where we're storing all of our school stuff and don't mind the shoes either i'll clean that up and i want to put some of this stuff up and so let me show you the closet the coat closet okay it's pretty dark hopefully you guys can see but on the top shelf we have games and art supplies things that I'm not trying to let the kids get a hold of but they still do and they mess it up 
Then we have this rack where things are supposed to be hanging. <laughs> I do have sets of curtains in here <laughs> hanging up. And then down here is when the kids get to stuff and they start messing. Okay. So I'll step back. So you can see. And then here are where we actually hold our hang our coats. So I was thinking, even if I could get something right here, and just I would I would I could even use this. I could move this up, put something here, and use that as um something to just hold books in anyway. So let me pull this stuff out and see what we can see what we got. is looking like got games over here and then I probably could hang some of this stuff up there this is what the bottom is looking like this is the our math bin some more of our math manipulatives and just manipulatives in general for letters the side is not as organized as I'd like it to be but yeah this is it i have a couple of pieces i think i'm gonna um take those upstairs and put them in the art and then i have these puzzles upstairs that space is here i have books all of these books go will probably go upstairs the kids have one of these in their room in their closet where their books go so i'm gonna put them in there and then yeah that's it so that's all I have for you today. If you haven't heard it, please know that Heavenly Father loves you. And uh, don't forget to drink your water and repent. Bye.